The dollhouse didn't look very Victorian with these bright modern colors, and I only had garden furniture from American Girl. So I first had to find Victorian furniture. This couch is from Dayton Hudson, and so is this fainting couch here. Both of those pieces I found on eBay. It was difficult to find the right size area rug at a reasonable price. Finally, I found this small piece and I bound it myself. Next, I needed a fireplace. I saw YouTube videos where other people took picture frames and made them into dollhouse fireplaces. So I took an old picture frame, tore it apart, and glued it to a wood cutout. Lots of measuring and gluing. To make this fireplace 3D, I added sides. To make it look Victorian, I stained everything a dark brown and added decorative trims. Then it needed a mantle. Just two pieces of wood glued together. I discovered due to some issues with wallpaper, the fireplace needed to be a bit taller. I created some lifts. In the end, they turned out nice with some decorations. To make the wall behind the fireplace look authentic, I used brick scrapbook paper and made it look charred with scrapbooking chalk. Then I found American Girl fireplace logs that were for Caroline's fireplace and decided to splurge. The fireplace needed a screen, so I took this metal ribbon I found at Michael's, glued two strips together, and painted it black. I needed something for the phonograph to sit on. This table I found was cheap but too tall. I cut it apart, sanded it, and stained it to match the fireplace. Wallpaper for this size dollhouse was hard to find and expensive. I read somewhere that people had used scrapbook paper as dollhouse wallpaper and Mod Podge as the paste. It worked really well, except for the horizontal seam in the middle of the wall meant I had to put the chair rail a little higher than I wanted to. That's why the fireplace needed lifts. I can't wait to paint these doors, add fancy handles, and create faux stained glass panels. Since Samantha now had a fancy parlor, the American Girl Garden Party Furniture had to move outside to the faux lawn. Here are some of my future parlor projects. Wall decorations, like these pictures I found antiquing. And maybe this picture of my great aunt as a little girl playing dolls with a friend. The 
these cameo earrings I hope to turn into candelabras. And this ornament will someday become a chandelier. Thanks so much for watching the beginning stages of Samantha's Victorian house.